Was the dream of the tiger one that could remain only in the realm of fancy? The might of Sun Jian helped bring an end to the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The fame and prestige earned by the Tiger of Jiangdong managed to surprise even the Imperial Court. Meanwhile, the Han Imperial Court lost the last vestiges of its authority and influence. This led to an air of uncertainty, which in turn brought on more chaos. Then, in Liang province, Bian Zhong and Han Sui rose up in a large-scale rebellion. Tasked with putting down the rebels was the feared warlord Dong Zhuo. However, he proceeded too cautiously out of concern for his own personal safety, thereby leading to heavy casualties of his men. Troubled by this turn of events, the imperial court ordered Sun Jian to go and assist Dong Zhuo. Accompanied by his brave yet brash young son, Sun Se, Sun Jian headed for Liang to face the enemy. The arrival of a land where his family and friends could live in peace and harmony. Was the dream of the tiger destined to remain only in the realm of fancy? Lord Dong Zhuo, I'm yours to command. You're late! My army is exhausted because of you! How are we supposed to win the war like this? That's it! You're leading the charge in the next battle! Yes, my lord. Hmm. What are you doing? Get out there and fight! I'm so cold. I need to eat something. I suppose Lord Dong Zhuo has his own reserves to rely upon. Lord Sun Se, I apologize for the behavior of my lord. Please, will you help us? It is said that the people of Liang are proficient with horses. If our enemy is to be mounted on cavalry, we could be in trouble. I don't care who the enemy is. Just let me out there so I can smash some heads. That's my brother. I know I can always count on you. My lord, why are we doing this? Why must we follow that animal's orders? Lord Sun Chuan has such respect for his brother. It's wonderful to see. With these never-ending skirmishes, the court must be losing its grip on the land. Dong Zhuo should have got off his bed behind and done the job himself. chance does a poor infantryman have against the enemy cavalry? I have to stay strong. I will survive. You seem agitated, my lord. Though, believe me, I understand your pain. Lord Dong Zhuo's in a foul mood. None of the women in the capital came with him. My lord, they say that your brother has blue eyes and a red beard. Nonsense. I've seen him. He has nothing of the sort. Oh, so that's just one of those military legends, I guess. Yes! Lord Sun Jian's finally here. Now we won't have to fight. I can't believe the Imperial Court would stand up for such an animal. If Dong Zhuo gets anywhere near Our Lady, I'll run him through with this spear, don't you worry. 
does he think he is, walking around with all that arrogance? Welcome! Swine says is nothing but lies. He just doesn't want to lose his own troops. Therefore, there's no way we're getting any of the glory. I can't stand to fight alongside that guy. My son, take that anger and channel it towards the rebels. Our only concern is to put a stop to this rebellion. If we do so, then it will also cause Dong Zhuo to lose face. I see. You're right. Okay, let's go, father. Push up the front line. Cut down the enemy forces attacking our base camp. Brother, leave the north to me. What's taking so long? Get on with it. Our name will be feared throughout the land. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. I do not care how widely our name is feared. All I wish to do is remove any threat to my family and my land. Are we destined to fall here? I shall return! Remember that! For yours is the first man I shall see! Excellent job, son. Together, our enemies will fall before us. Oh! I've gone and gotten myself into a trap! We will attack the enemy from on high. We must hit them so hard they will lose their nerve. Bring intelligence. An enemy archer unit has been spotted atop the cliff. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others! Alright! I shall return! Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall see! One down! Many more to go! If we advance any further, we'll all be cut down! Destin. Damn them with their constant hail of arrows! All right! We must retreat! This is not the end! 
Dong's Zhuo. Much as it pains me, we must keep him safe. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. What a disaster. I have no excuse for troubling you with this rabble. You're the best. are my specialty. Allow me to show you. You're all to defend this spot with your lives. Understand? Hey, where are you going? Be a man and stay and fight. If you wish to get in my way, then you will feel my blade. too many people that I would survive this battle. So I guess this is goodbye. One down. Many more to go. Amazing! If you are as strong as all that, then my paradise shall be a reality. Chow. Who here wishes to challenge me? Over here. I'll take you on.
remember you. Next time we meet, I will be the victor. One down. Many more to go. Good work, son. Let's see if your old man can keep pace. Fight me now! For glory! I must retreat! This is not the end! One down! Many more to go! Retreat! This is not the end! One down! Many more to go! Smart. Don't make me laugh. Right. I must defeat you. My duty demands it. Now come and face me. and get back in your unit! All right! Ah! <laughs> All that oppose me shall be put to a swift death! They'll all regret ever crossing me! After them! None are to leave here alive! Hold on! We don't have to go that far! It's no good, son. He's not listening. That may be so, but if we don't stop him, he's going to be trouble. Dong Zhuo is a parasite who thrives on chaos. If we bring peace, he will have no place to live. So we're just supposed to wait until he burns out? Father, please tell me you're joking. You could stop him if you wanted. 